Um, tonight we will start for you with a piece called The Odyssey. It's composed by a contemporary woman composer named Suni Newbold, and it is about the story of the book uh, The Odyssey. So you'll hear a lot of um, what sounds like waves and water sort of effects happening, especially in the low strings, while the melody happens over top of the violins. Um, we start the piece, the violins open the piece, and listen for the impact that the bowing patterns have, because um, they have the same rhythm, but they're doing opposite bowings. So while one section is doing smooth and then short, short, the other one's doing short, short and smooth with their bows. And it creates a really sort of sparkling effect of like organized chaos that's happening. Um, and I find it quite interesting that that's really just caused by the way the bows are being used. So that's interesting and quite cool. And um, the violas are mostly the, the big, biggest waves of the ocean. Um, so listen for them as well. And in the middle of the piece, we're doing some cool effects that happen when it gets a bit slower. So the second violins use a lot of what we call harmonics, which is when instead of placing the finger all the way down in the string, they just lightly touch it at a very specific point, which would be called a node, and it creates like a higher pitched sort of ethereal wispy sound. So the second violins have that, and they have to move their bows extra fast to get the physics of that to work. And then you'll see um, some of the sections also flip their bows upside down and play what we call colenio, which means with the wood of the bow, they don't go this way with the wood, that wouldn't sound very nice, but they tap it lightly like to get a percussive clicking sound. Um, that was most famously used in the beginning of Gustav Holst's Mars from the planets. Um, he starts the whole piece with that, and that was the sound effect of like an army from a distant um, hill walking over and marching from a distance. Um, so here it's used for a different effect, but it's still quite a cool concept to use in string music. So uh, enjoy our first piece, The Odyssey. 